irrational numbers or the irrational number set. So this one is interesting. We actually write this as Q, which you may remember from the previous videos if you watch them. Okay, it represents rational, and when you put a little bar over it, it means irrational. Or simply, okay, this set, you can s say that it is a set of not rational numbers. So it is all the numbers that are not rational. Okay, now this is the fundamental definition. So let me just give you a little bit of a sense of what these irrational numbers are. So irrational numbers, I'm going to write the most common way that we represent numbers, and that might be decimals. It's not always the common way for computers nowadays, but that's what we have been used to. Now decimals, we said when we talked about rational, a decimal that ends or that goes on forever and repeats was considered to be rational. But that left one case out. And that was the case that you have a decimal that goes on forever but does not have any repeating pattern. Does not have any repeating pattern and this is really difficult to spot because if someone writes a decimal they can't really write it forever because they will always end it which means it will be rational when they're writing it but there are some instances where these irrational numbers are very useful for us and i just want to give you just a few examples so that you have some sense. And these by no means are all the irrational numbers. I certainly don't know them. There's infinitely many. But one of the most common examples, which some students may recall, it is the number pi, which relates back to circles. And because it goes on forever and does not repeat, we write it as a symbol. And that's really the only way we can represent these irrational numbers because we can't write them forever so pi most people will know is 3.14 but it actually goes and keeps on going and it goes on forever and ever and does not repeat and that is one example of an irrational numbers which we truly do need because we utilize circles in many applications in real life now another very common example of irrational numbers and sometimes this is a little bit tricky for students to know and that is when you're taking square roots now when you take a square root of a number you will find that most of them are actually irrational and now I'm going to take only square roots of natural numbers. So if you take the square root of 1, it actually equals to 1. Now that is a natural number or a whole number and so on. So that is not irrational. But if you take square root of 2, unfortunately, if you try to work this out, and you can use your calculator, you will find that this will give you okay, a decimal. Now on your calculator, it will end. But in real life, this is actually irrational. And the same thing happens with the square root of 3. It's also irrational. I should write here equals. This means it's irrational. But now if you go on to square root of 4, you notice that, hey, wait a minute. Square root of 4 is 2. That is just a natural number or a whole number or an integer. So that is not irrational. And now you can go through all of these cases, and then next is square root of 5, and square root of 6, and so on. But the only square roots of natural numbers that are not irrational okay, are these perfect squares. So here is a perfect square, here is a perfect square, 
And if I would continue this, square root of 7, square root of 8, and then square root of 9, which is equal to 3, okay, and then it would continue on. Next one would be square root of 16, which is 4, and then so on, square root of 25, which is 5. That's what we mean by a perfect square, that you can actually find the square root of it. So all of these, and these go on forever, so square root of 36, square root of 49, and so on. These are not irrational, but all the other square roots are actually irrational. And that may help you okay, if you ever run into examples like these. Now, as I said, there are many other examples. One very well-known in sciences, as you keep studying, and you may run into eventually, okay, is the natural E. Okay, and this is also an irrational number. And you can find it on your calculator. I'm not going to write the number here, but you can check. Okay for yourself that you do have an E if you have a scientific calculator. Now, we can't know all the irrationals, but we know the characteristic. The characteristic is that it's a decimal that goes on forever and does not have a, any repeating patterns. And these are kind of some of the common ones. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching.